Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Trader. In the previous mission, mission in the previous episode we explored uh, this unknown space region and now we are at the system where we know or not we know the Inquisitor should be here or at least the last lead uh, pointed in this to this system. So let's start to explore and I see that there's a dying star and dead stars here so something is up and i think we will find the inquisitor on this tomb world but before that let's explore the other planets it seems that uh has died from this world gray masses of rocks gives away only to brownish uh, sand and black voids of gorge. The team very notices a strange detail amid the drab landscape, an extensive area where the land is too smooth. As they approach this area turns out to be a lake of moving metal, in the center of which burn green are discharges. On its shores lie the ruins of a pyramid construct. Through, through magna colors uh, it is determined that the remains of the pyramids are slowly melting, creating flows that dump new metal into the lake. The smoothness of the lake is slightly rippled by currents trying to extinguish the flames in the center. Let's choose this one. There is something wistful uh, about this side. An unhealing wound on the body of some mysterious technology. I didn't dare to, to try anything, really. Judging by the orbital trajectories, this is the parent star of the system. If the Lumen Lumenor out there is right, back in the day it used to be a huge and angry with a bite too. With a bite to it, not this half dead uh, firefly. What happened to it? I can't imagine uh, what could have drained uh, a deadly beast like that. The, the Luminor Order swears that the rays of this uh, stars would have continued withering all life in the system for millions of years more. It was too young to have faded like this. It's uh, like it was gnawed out. It was attacked, suddenly and fiercely, a hungry predator bit into its magnetic field and drank as much of its energy as, energy as it could. The predator was starving and would have surely devoured the star hole had it had more time. Now it's good to see Nomos again. Nomos, where did you get this information from? I do not know, but I can read the traces of what was committed here, as if I have seen it happen a hundred times. Okay, we are down here. Let's check this planet. Shuttle of Imperia make the uh, make is detected among the rocky gorges of the planet alongside two nearby Xeno objects. Monolithic structures embedded into the landscape. When scanned, the object distorts the signal, but no signs of enemy activity nor signal signals from the shuttle are found. Let's disembark and examine the shuttle and the Xeno construct. Procampo Balance is used to personally explore the enigmatic monoliths. A phone balancer shuttle overcomes the uh, turbulent zone with an alarming rumble, after which the connection to the warship becomes tenacious. Despite a rough landing on the rocky terrain, the fight ends successfully. Okay, let's let's discover this one. Oh, that looks like some kind of entrance, or it is uh, a part of a monolith or obelisk. And I didn't mean the obelisk uh, structure. There is a necron construct that is called the obelisk. Okay. 
Do you not struggle to carry the burden of all your years, Grey Warrior? Will your hand not eventually betray you in combat? Youth has vigor on its side, but age has knowledge. I'm sure even a long-lived Xenos must understand the importance of experience. I always keep my options open. One of the friendliest thought. Oh yeah. Fate and fortune favor the bold. Who if not me? Consider this a taste Suffer of what's to come. To Just teleporting stuff. And just warriors. Okay. We are there. Just the new world. Blog also on the origin of Okay. Time for our return. I should have shoot at the scarab. The great sleep is over. Okay, let's this tedium is beneath me. Do that. Door. So could you with the immortal or with the warrior? Well, there is not much of a difference because Yeah. Yeah, let's deal with the immortal. And we can see because in the previous battle the immortals somehow occur. If it serves your call. Reassemblement commencing. Okay. If I must. Yes, you must. I understand your intent. I deal death with my hands. That's great. Stop trying, monkey. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Do it again. Faith without well, deeds is worthless. Again. <laughs> Just stop. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. Oh dear. You managed to, well, knock him over or something like that. You need a better strike. Indeed. It will be done. I took care of this one. You can you charge him? You Victory can. is imminent. Great. An exemplary strike. At your back and call. I will do my duty. Making a Running by Eric override. Request approved. The Omnissiah knows all. Execute. The 
Yes, 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 Okay, Pascal, you can try it again. Don't get too cocky. You jest, surely. Well, I know what I'm doing, usually. Maybe do the offhand. And now. What do you have? You have all me. My Oh, we can use the other one as well. Tell me, and it is done. Make I can do point. that, with the right incentive. High momentum. Okay, let's... Make an off attack, because that should be enough. Down. Well, let's see. I can hit him. On it. Pray. And do these two things. I won't compromise let's my principles. Down. Okay. Defense is a good offense. Oh, we can. No, we don't. Okay, so we can shoot at it, but we have to. Because that means they will teleport more and more units. Okay, so we don't care about Your Zeus pet, Mulkey. This tedium is beneath me. You cannot force me along top. Oh, we cannot follow the death. All right. If it serves your cause. Go for, In uh, thy plus light one I shot. stand, and thy light I crave. With you, my emperor. As the emperor commands, I act. Well done. Commands I act.
And we still have one shot. I'll do it. Got a problem? I've got a price. Am I getting paid for this? Tell me, and it is done. Who even taught you to fight like this? That's a very good question. Indeed. It will be done. At your back and call. Mm, nice. Wow. He dodged it and he hit his friend. Okay, pass that way. Do you stop again? Another miss, but even more shameful. Okay. Running by Eric Override. Do that. Momentum. I hold all the cards. Come on. My vow is to serve. Okay, something is not right here. Request approved. Combat is an equation. Finally. Your life is a negligible variable. The old desire condemns you. Computation fails. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Don't get too cocky. Faith without oh, deeds is worthless. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Finally. You've got a problem. I've got a problem. I can do that with the right incentive. Yes. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. Let's make it sure. I'll make it happen. You never stood a chance.
perfect. Even better. If I must. Let's use your ranged attack. Full creatures. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. I understand your. Now we can look around. Is there money to be made? And loot. Oh wow. Captain's workshop. The works does not produce uh, sound immediately. The officer who made the recording speaks clearly and confidently, but also softly with a barely predictable, uh, perceptible vibration in his low orator like voice. It seems that the tape is part damaged. Entry 1. We landed successfully, but we were unable to report to her ladyship. The communication channel was filled with interference. The navigation system has been affected as well, uh, so we will not be able to take off anytime soon, let alone return to the ship. Sergeant Tamani is looking for the source of this interference. The only thing left to do is keep a log. Entry 5. Thanks to the information we received earlier, we managed to partially de decipher some of the inscriptions on the obelisks. Only the general uh, meaning is clear. The creatures buried here are extremely warlike. We have not been able to identify the source of the interference affecting our communications and navigation. Lady Sildora made it clear that this expedition is extremely important, so we will continue the exploration regardless of obstacles. Whoever finds this lost log must give it to her ladyship personally and to no one else. Entry 18. One of the structures being inspected uh, incinerated uh, Corporal Monroe. We buried him with as much dignity as was possible in these barren rocks. His sacrifice need, uh, need not be in vain. We will be more careful next time and we will not embarrass her ladyship. Entry 19. The, ex the explosion of the Xeno artifact damaged the engine, uh, the fuel compartment and the cargo hold where we were keeping supplies. It is unlikely that we will return to Lady Theodore's flagship, but we have almost completed our task and are about to enter the buildings. What matters is the preservation of the data we have obtained. There are no dead people behind the monoliths. The creatures attacked us as soon as we managed to activate uh, the gate mechanism into one of the buildings. Their weapons destroy flesh and plasteel with equal ease, and their bodies recover from any wounds. The words are interrupted by a bang and a yell. I will keep recording until my final breath and I hope it benefits uh, the house of Home Falancius. The weapons of the Xenos burn with green fire and her bolts of lightning and energy charges burst from their blades. Damani has fallen to the ground and cannot get up. Her body is breaking, the rocks beneath it are about to crack. Tell uh, Daila that her father gave his life uh, for the good of the Home Falancius dynasty. May she be proud of. Heavy void suit. Okay, we have to check that. If someone can uh, have that. In other words, the mirror is under the effect of reckless rush. Hmm. Reckless rush, maybe that's for her. And we have a bolt, or they shall weep. Okay, uh, let's check her uh, character sheet. I think our the reckless rush is Well, I don't think I can find it. But that's an upgraded rush skill, I believe. So, 
so that's nothing for her but let's check the new walter okay oh it's a golden one i was wondering why didn't it look better than that it, is, it has better stats okay now she became a real real threat also let's check the void heavy void suit okay and let's check him i want her to be as protected as uh, as she could be Let's check on our more. Nine. That's a lot. Okay, I don't think we, we can have anything better than that. Sixty-five. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's not I mean dawdle. Inventory. Uh, I agree, let's not dawdle. You can still recognize the one bronze's coat of arms in the half uh, abraded emblem on the side of the shuttle. Part of the hull and equipment look as if something vaporized the ship's components one layer after another. The broken body has been smashed into the ground with uh, such a force that the other effects uh, radiating up and down the I always Keep have a backup plan. Gloom fire. The virus critical is due double damage. Interesting. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossoming nearby. No, a child I want, was saved I from want. death. A thousand heretics were burning alive, begging and sobbing and howling. I want her critical hits to double because this bolster has a really good damage, and she usually scores a lot of criticals. And let's check that weapon. Wow, it's even better than the Guardian long rifle. Okay, so the Guardian long rifle moves there. And this is moving there. We used enough Eldar weapon. Oh, damage from war is always equal to 100%. Oh, okay, I think this little excursion is worth it. Always keep your eye on the prize. Success is the Don't only outcome I expect. The manager of the Xenos guess that these monoliths. We were once part of a mighty transport ship, Kito was transferring into ground base. Yeah, it is a monolith. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. I really should make some necron terrain sometime. Can visit the Death Star. Those things, I never seen anything like them before. But the panel of the ship's tech priest, Numeno Reader, says that uh, they are star corpses. Not just corpses, they call them stellocide victims. What did the 
Tu man orders me this measures light. Who knows with those star uh, say, uh, sages? Apparently, when a star dies, not for that it's different. These look like they were murdered and plundered. All of their energy was siphoned like when a spider sucks the innards of, out of a fly. And this testing these husks, if you don't mind me saying, uh, scarred the human order so much that they uh, wet their metal trousers. Oh, so those referring some kind of text priest is okay, but uh, Lumen is a. You can measure, uh, it's a measurement for light, yes. Don't you think that we are observing far too many stars here? I agree, Lord Captain. The stellar trajectories also suggest that most of these stars didn't uh, used to be here. Someone was hoarding them in this system and I wouldn't like to have been here at that time. The gravitational current would have been pure chaos. Who would have pulled off something like that? Was it dark out there, dragging stars around like they are? The property is quite in character of these uh, damn Xenos. As curious as this may be, we will still have a job to do. Okay, now let's meet them. But first, just very quickly, save the game. I don't want to break this heavy to save the game before uh, an orbital battle. Lord Captain, a Xeno squadron is on intercept course. It's the same uh, abomination as before. What got them so reeled off? I think they are guards. The ship took off from the surface of the planetoid as soon as we batted uh, it with I or Ogos. I'm not an expert on Zeno's minds, but I, uh, I know my void maneuvers and I can tell you this. They are angry and they are approaching on a direct and un 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 unambiguously aggressive trajectory. All decks prepare for battle. Orders received, Lord Captain. Lower the whole host of Valencius. The question is how many ships we have to deal with. I hope no more than three. see crimson lights four. in the void of course it's four. Oh, and we didn't okay now that's why we load i should have done that before awesome Okay. And by the way, as I also wanted to frag grenade, we have some kind of frag grenade mark something. And we have some purple ish grenade. No? No, okay. four ships two smaller two bigger i am 
be your beacon in the darkness. Can concentrate our fire on the small one. Go on, that set. Well, we have to concentrate our fire, fire because they are all still regenerating. Volley. With the force of a supernova. Should have fired the torpedoes. Make every shot count. Torpedoes away. Not pass up this chance to strike our enemies. Well, I don't think there is a point using this. Because they will just reanimate the damage. Let's go after that ship. Lance battery! Volley! Macro cannons! Open fire! All hands! Prepare for acceleration! Let them chase our fuel. That was enough. At least we're getting the last special fully. Go on, that's it. Salvo, let the void sort them out. Make every shot count. All hands, prepare for acceleration. Okay, that's the purpose. So more. This is the only one which won't die.
it loses 75, so one more turn. Cannons, open fire. With the force of a supernova. Use this. Maybe with this. Engage the engines. Just reload. Cannons. Make every shot count. And basically, victory is ours. We just have to survive. It's good that all of their weapons hitting the shields first. We will start the shields. Salvo! Lance battery! Volley! Let do this fire at will basically we have one a worthy contribution to lady theodora's legacy Cannot upgrade. And now we can reach the point where Our captain is spotted a planet with an unidentified Xeno structure. Something tells me this is the place we've been looking for. Overclad is detect a field of void mines uh, uh, projectory toward the planetary. Transmit the deactivation code we found in the outpost of the Lord Inquisition's mail. Beginning transmission. Receiving return signal. 5% of my support uh, transition to sleep mode. Receiving coordinates of an area designated as main landing site. We have a safe uh, channel of approach toward the Epipod and coordinates for landing. Are there any traces of Alcazar? Plenty. We're picking up uh, the remaining Vox Echoes of conversation standard signals belonging to uh, Augurox observation systems. The gas thermal trace of shuttles preparing to land. You know, Lord Captain, it seems to me that this place uh, is about to fall apart. Ogres detect a multitude of si uh, signs pointing to structural damage in the tomb located on the planetoid, and they are very fresh. Commence preparation of the landing party. I will lead it personally. Are you certain, Lord Captain? I beg your pardon for such uh, audacity, but this uh, old void was God tells him that this tomb is very likely to become ours. I have uh, this bad feeling as if, forgive me your lordship, I've completely lost my sense giving out advice like that. I am ready to face whatever lies in wait. We make the landing. Be careful your lordship, we will wait as long as it takes uh, for your retrieval uh, signal. Even if every xenophyte in the uh, world appears to spot us from orbit. Oh, we are not going into the landing screen directly. Interesting.
So there will be some kind of uh, cinematic. Well, put the cinematic into quotes. Some sort of event. Maybe someone wants to talk to us. Or something happened on the bridge before we could uh, get to the shuttle. Every person on the bridge visited in astonishment watching the remarkable uh, procession approach your door. Officers and enforcers are gazing at your uh, questioningly, but do not interfere until they are ordered to. Do. Wow! That's uh, a new look for Nomos. We have come to speak with you, Rakan. You gave us food for consideration by revealing uh, the mystery of our origin. From then uh, to now, we observed calculated sense and we discovered that a great change is coming. A trial. We see the potential for a great disaster. It is already ripening. The wave could uh, crash down upon the Cronus expanse and perhaps extend beyond it. We are headed for suffering and death. You are the one who can uh, prevent the disaster and we want to help you. We do. Let us help. Most us are not human, but we have learned to see people as more than shells. We want to save them, protect them. Wait, what is this coming spread? Nomos cannot say. Something changed after you held us remember our birth from an uh, epitaph. We now sense the liberation of something vast, which is actually a, more fraction, a mere fraction of something limitless. Uh, it is seeping through a breach, its shoulders pushing against the walls of its vision that are about to give. But what it is, we do not know. Alright, maybe uh, it's not the Necrons. For a moment I thought Necrons, the Necrons are planning to do something terrible. And of course Kalkazar is here to stop them. Which is fine. But I think it's not the Necrons. I think it's the weapon that Kalkazar wants to unleash on the Necrons. And it will be much, much bigger than he expects. We must say, it frightens us to think about this unknown something that is trying to break free. It is so vast, too vast to measure or explain. But we know uh, that living souls are the same. They are always larger than they seem, and no capacity can calculate the potential. This makes us believe that we, Nomos and you, Trakan, uh, can step beyond the limit of calculation. Uh, there we will face the unleashing horror without faltering. What do you wish to do? Wait until the unknown threat appears before you, then face it. We do not know where or when it will happen, we do not know what we, what we will face. But we know that we want to, to be there with you. There is something we require, require to, to do it. Nomos are tethered uh, to the shell of this ship. We can only follow you outside by using servitors as our shell, but they are lacking. Only a modicum of, uh, of us can enter such a primitive vessel and our power is likewise limited. We need a vessel, a body, but very uh, few things can house us. That is why uh, we have uh, come to ask you. Magos Asclepius has offered his shell to us. It might do. Indeed I have, I cannot think of a prouder end to my pilgrimage than a liturgy of synchronization with the Great Spirit. I will become a vessel for the Omnissiah's favored child and step beyond the confines of a wretched living existence into the halls of the eternal machine soul. Of course he would, he would sacrifice yourself to Jesus. I desire it more than anything. 
We asked him many times because he did not want to hurt him. The wasp would not have proposed it if the human was against it. I've heard you and made my decision. We await your word, master of the ship. Please give us freedom and we will stand with you in the hour of great need. Okay, now that's for an... Uh, well, almost uh, everyone except for a heretic. It's an interesting dilemma because Asclepius is more likely to be killed in the process. I think that's the problem. And we are uh, iconoclasts, so we, we try to save people. However, we also hail from uh, an Adeptus Mechanicus world. And yes, the, for the point of view from, from that guy, from Asclepius, it's uh, it's the greatest honor he could, he could it's, and it's the best ending he can hope for. So, so yes, we will allow it. You can take a, a, a sleep use body. And I hope we are not letting out the ghost from a battle a bottle. Whatever. Praise the Omnissiah. I kneel before his favorite child and humbly offer his shell as a gift. May I become a temple to the machine and the vessel for its great spirit. How interesting, we feel restricted, but not as much as inside said it was. Some work must be done on the new shell, then it will be ready for journeys to the outside. We will leave you for now, Fraken, but in the hour when you stand before the great we will return and stand with you side by side. I was a bit frightened that uh, we will discover that Momos is a Necron Overlord. Oh, wow, something is up. The imposing uh, Armageddon Spear is designed to show the position of Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Your Lordship, the shuttle is ready for landing. We have the uh, exact coordinates to uh, secure landing sites. We authorize the start of the expedition. I still don't need to say many goodbyes. As Your Lordship commands, we are standing by. Goodbyes? Let's talk to Idira first. Idira looks at you with uh, reddened eyes. Despite the tired look on her face, she smiles boldly either at you or something behind you. Well, Lord Captain, my little whispers have grown quiet. It's like they know the long thread we've been following is finally at an end. It's now or never, isn't it? Thank you for everything, either way, Lord Captain. How about Idira? Grant me the la one last prediction for the road. You sing the little whispers are going to play nice. Ha! Ah. They weren't that useful even before, and now they're more likely to mess us around than Saber Baker. Saber Beacon. Baker. Idira locks ruefully. Lord Captain, your fate is in your hands alone. Do not let the words of uh, the rage uh, psyker confuse you. You are not meant to listen to the grumbling beyond the wheel. I am glad you have been all at my side all this time. Idira sobs at your words. I thank you, Lord Captain. I can't imagine why you showed me so much kindness after everything we have been through. You are the only reason I'm still alive. Uh, there were so many ways I could have died. I know I've been harping on all this time uh, around Lady Theodora, this Lady Theodora that. You know, you may never become who she was, but she could never have become who you are either. And I am glad it was you who replaced her and uh, and that life threw me uh, together with you and not with somebody else. So there, now let's change the subject before I get all sentimental, all right? Let's give her a hug. Ira sobs fearfully, but uh, in the next moment hugs you back. 
there, there, you really have lost it, haven't you? She stunned for a few seconds and muttered something before letting you go. Thanks. What do you think awaits us after this uh, last skirmish? Well, I have no doubt about you. Everything is going to come up roses for you. As for me, Idira catches herself. You know, maybe I won't live long, but it will be a good life. I be, I leave behind so many tales to tell. Let them remember my name over a mug of something for me and laugh at the stories of my well of our exploit. We are still together here. We have a tough battle ahead of us. I don't want to say uh, that for her, but all right. If it were an easy battle, who would have our mother to tell us about it? Nobody. That's who. Let's show him, Lord Captain. Okay. I think we left the lead area for the last. Let's go for Pascal and move our way over. The tech priest is checking his gear, whispering prayers to the Messiah. He looks up at you and speaks a matter of fact. The tactical equipment audit is 97% complete. No critical failure detected. The only size shows failure. You do not seem too worried about the coming landing. The box makes a rustling noise that sounds like a chapel. A mission of recognition is a blessed and desirable one for the explorator. The data cell of the one who explores, analyzes, and charts overflows with the joy of servitude. Oscar lowers his eyes. I will be honored to disembark with you. Oh, you will. You will. I think we are gearing for the last battle. Strange. When the campaign comes to an end, will you stay on duty or return to your fellow tech priest? It has been a joy to serve such a distinguished person, but duty calls the Amarnath Collective to a different mission. The message of change must be proclaimed. The believers must be separated from the doubters. Pascal, no, Amarnath looks at you curiously. The experience of our common uh, comradeship has taught the, uh, this unit much. The trials and battles we have gone through have produced trust, sincerely, mutual understanding. Amarnath will let this book through the flames and forge the sect into the religion. Maybe had good fortune. Oh, no, let's let's say that you took good care of my ship and equipment. The dynasty will not forget it. Where the iron flowers of the Omnistias bloom, there must be also his passionate gardeners. Thank you for honoring this unit by letting it serve the formidable spirit of the Homebalance's dynasty's flagship and you, your lordship. May we have a good fortune. There is no such, no such things as good fortune. May the statistical probability be productively positive. I can second that. That's, that's such a cool way to say that. And this one tells us Our journey together approaches its end. One last push and the secrets of the expanse of Balthazar will be laid to rest. I can't wait. I'm, uh, I'm tired of uh, shroud and secrecy that has hidden down the suit even for me. You will meet your mentor again down there. And I have questions for him. I want to know why I was left in the dark about everything that was happening in the shadows of the expanse. Why all the acolytes died on the way here? Well, almost all. Well, almost all of the Lord Inquisitors have left. Why? It makes its hell sharply and stiffens. I want to hear what he has to say, and then make my judgment. When all this is over, what you will do? And he presses his lips together and shakes his head. I feel uneasy even thinking about it. Uh, but if Lord Inquisitor Xavier Carcazar falls today, Henry locks eyes with you. Someone has to take the Rosetta of the Ordo Zinos, and the very least, until the Inquisition Enclave determines who will be a worthy successor to Xavier. Epitaph awaits, uh, still your heart. The interrogator dips his 
they don't know better uh, back out from balance. Argentina's face, which has grown haggard as of late, looks like the face of someone uh, stricken with fever. At last, the final battle approaches Rock Raider. My heart awaits eagerly. May we all fulfill our duty today, she half whispered. I am glad to have you as my faithful ally. Gladness is fleeting, do not be uh, enticed by talk together. Think of uh, think only of your calling uh, and be emboldened by it. Have you had time to think about the future? What will you do? What will you do should we prevail in this pivotal battle? A sister repentance has no future. If I am denied my death in the coming fight, I will uh, set out a search of new battles. Again and again uh, will I charge into fire, eradicating enemies of humanity until my heart stops beating. I wonder if there was a way for her to get into a ship and get the relic. Maybe if we if we choose a dogmatic route. Also, I, I just want to know if some of you guys know, just put a comment yes or no. Don't tell me how to achieve it. I just want to know if it's possible that she won't become a, a repentia. We're almost out of time. Prepare yourself, Argenta. I am prepared, now and always. Back on the faint smell of Cassia's face makes you more... Uh, Momentarily forgot about the impending battle. We have traveled a long road together. Let us finish it together as well. That's about I am honored to have you among my companions, Lady Cassia. Cassia smiles uh, demurely and criticizes in response. I am honored to be your companion, Fakan from Bonsus. This is probably not the future you are dreamed of, but if all this ends in victory for us, what do you intend to do next? I have been running for too long, Sakan, hiding behind others while my home, my family, were being torn apart by hatred and strife. And what could a young, inexperienced girl to do those who were so desperate to either destroy me or bend me to their will? Cassia smiles bitterly. The throne of the Novatoros of our Sorio will no longer sit empty. But my only regret is that I shall have to leave your ship and the darkness between the stars that I have come to love so much. I hope you will visit me, Thakar. Stay yourself, Lady Cassia, the hour of battle is at hand. My heart is fluttering, Lord Captain, but not because of fear or doubt. I am ready to face what is, what is coming. Let's talk about. Let's talk with the old man. Talk about. I don't know what I am saying now. Abala looks at you with a tired smile. He cannot resist giving you his characteristic surprising glance. Well, Lord Captain, my service to your began under the most remarkable circumstances. I should hardly be surprised that you have delivered us into circumstances more unexpected and surprising than ever before. Of one, uh, one thing I am certain that one balance is enough to recover itself in glory today. Well, no matter what happened, you were always at my side. Seneschal's place is at the Rogue's Trader's side. As you have learned, others can betray and abandon you in the darkest hour. If the Lord Captain cannot count on his Seneschal, there is no one he can count on. That is not a fate that I wish for you, so I am doing my duty. You have a highly organized mind, so you must have already considered what uh, uh, what we are going to do once this campaign of uh, course comes to an end. Some of Embra's upper attacks his thumbs into his back. 
Now that I have your blessing, it is about time I took care of my family. The Versailles plan has gone without a patriarch for too long. I should make time for my descendants before some noble upstart tries to chew them up again. Are you ready to follow me all the way? As always, Lord Captain, I will follow you into the fire and back. Go on, probably my witness, I have had the honor of serving under two rogue traders and survived one, so there would be no shame in going down alongside the other. If it comes to that, naturally, Abelard chuckles sounding slightly sharper than usual. Get ready, Abelard, we, we have quite an ordeal ahead of us. We have been uh, through wars. The old Sinashire wins cheekily and, and for us. Split second looks younger by a good hundred years. He then bows his grey head. I serve Hoss von Valencius, Lord Captain. Oh! Oh, that's just the banner, okay. The Exalted One uh, wants to go our destinies into a glittering tapestry of this world with gold and silver sweat, Shireen. And today the pattern of our lives will either be uh, completed, Jaya snaps her metal fingers deliberately loudly, or the tapestry will, uh, will be torn uh, asunder. Personally, I prefer to place my hope in the first option. Are you afraid of uh, what is to come, Jaya? The battle against the enemy? Pain? Oblivion? Jaya smiles and shakes her head. Oh no, Shireen. My only fear is that after these tribulations, we will never be the same again. And I do so enjoy being me. After a uh, pregnant pause, Jaya continues in her usual play for moment. So, what brings you to me, Shireen? Not parting words, I hope, because I, dis because I despise goodbyes. Well, we know that, because we cannot put you out of the team. I feel as though they uh, robbed me of my future. You never want to hear goodbye after all, but only ever see you again under the same stars. I'm curious to see what you will do once all this is over. You mean, if it's ever over? And if the Aji don't uh, play the evil tricks on us, Jerry is an eyebrow and shrug. I don't know, Shirin. Being drunk or unbridled freedom sounds nice. It's so close, I could reach out and grab it like the tail of a comet and leave the Cosbury Commission behind, start doing things on my own without having to rely on uh, your good favor. Limitless possibilities lie ahead. I just have to survive the coming darkness. I just wanted to say that I'm glad of your company, especially now. Our alliance is like a miraculous oasis is blooming in the fierce desert heat. I am glad to be your partner and friend and ally in the fight against the enemy. Get a whip, Jerry. We have a hard battle ahead of us. First assert, Shireen. We, when it comes to matters of being uh, an oblivion, Jaya Heidai has the coldest mind and the bravest heart. Here looks at you, her emerald eyes shining with quiet determination. When the path my lost soul was following crumbled beneath my feet, Shutter flung me, plunged me into dark. You were always there, Ellen Clark, despite how much you hated my kind. Despite what my kin were doing, it is time for me to repay your kind. Our journey together has not been an easy one. But I am glad that both us, both of us are here today. We both defended what we had dear, just as life has told us. And today my soul is at peace, for we can share the pain of the coming battle between us. So it is diminished. Will our paths diverge if we survive? Someday, someday they will attack. Exile uh, opened my eyes to uh, many things. But the path of the outcast weighs heavy on my heart. I think that I have seen my new path clearly now. It sings to me, calling me forward. The path of the warrior, the protector of those I could not save before. All that I have learned about the world, about humans, about you, I will take this knowledge into my new life and into the uh, leaves of my kin. Our fate will be decided in the coming battle. Yes, voice rings like a, a naked steel. 
I am ready to drive back the darkness. Are you? Hmm. I don't know if I want to start this right now. Maybe put it in a. Oh no! Let, I'm I'm curious. Let's let's start and see where we go. Maybe we'll end up with a very long, long episode. Permission to take off. We are heading to a bit of a Acknowledge. Going to the front lines of the north. Be safe, Lord Captain. Unfortunately, yes. Okay, this is the, the final part. Also, this won't be an easy one or a one battle scenario so i think we can we can do another fight and see uh, what what we can discover and i probably end this episode there but it uh, really really feels like this is the final uh, place in the game Oh, nice. Why are uh, the rocks that we have to descend into the depths of the coming Xenostorm? Tomb. Sorry. Okay, what's the. I do not recognize that. Must be some kind of forge work stuff. Even the wicked Xenos were no match for the scourge that has befallen them. How pitiful their empty shells look. Can we I hope them? it is not a ploy to lure us in. However. They do appear to be quite dead. Really? We cannot uh, hold that. Okay. There are too many warriors here. Is there money to be made? Huh? There are too far too many warriors. Here. Rush not dawdle. Your eyes inside the lonely green old mountain in the construction, you can see the reflection of people who are not here. They are looking at you curiously and fearfully. I always have a backup plan. The Xenos is making the same rhythmic sound over and over as it tries to say something, but losing it. Rain of thought and something new every time. Pascal, please do not do not break this side. 
keep your wits about you. The blow came out with finger sticks as from between the side of the doors that are slightly ajar. It wriggles me. Wait a second. Those are warriors. Wow. Something is definitely happening here. Always keep your eye on the price. Energy of soul. The drone automatically grows from a painful and melancholic melody, but one that oozes with venomous fire. I exist again and I behold this world. An uh, abominable sight. Great conquerors brought low by a fleeting pestilence. Corrosion everywhere. The hollow insides are ablaze. The granite roar is. The grand. Gratting roar is more like the sound of a metal torture instrument than a sentient being speech. The runs of the universe shall be eliminated. The I route them and I pulverize them into bloody dust. I rid myself of them and of my sorrow. The curse one will regret ever existing. The Xeno starts to shake from uh, the armored plates and is head down in the tail of its, uh, of its graph pad. The tremor causes the rock below uh, it to crack and sink in. <clears throat> you are an ancient nightmare for a long forgotten past. Here as breathing becomes unsteady as she uh, stares wide-eyed at the being op opposite you. I have encountered others like you. Ogri, once, be once before, and I will do not, and I will do to you as I did to them, send you to the depths of your home. <clears throat> the Xenos lets out a metallic click semblance of Lothar, an ancient weapon that has broken in battles forgotten, worthless. Let's examine it. The Xenos' entire skeletal body is made of an unknown ma metal. Interlaced with greenish energy channel aglow with currents. Below its weights, the flares of a graph pad are humming and rattling. Its upper limbs fuse into a formidable heavy cannon. Not a single part of the monster's body betrays vulnerability. Without a doubt, this is a technological super machine designed to annihilate all life. Disabling it will not be easy. What is going on here? The Necron screeching uh, distantly resembles slaughter or perhaps sobs. Ross does not have the privilege of witnessing noble metal perish. The destroyer shall be destroyed. The accursed one is solving disease. The great and might do battle. The petty and worthless shall fall. That's enough uh, buttering you foul piece of crap. The school like head jerks and for a few moments a circular opening appears between the jaws resembling a mouth open in astonishment. The wound closes with a terrifying uh, tremulous ring. The defending rod that follows sharply pierces your with pain. Blood starts uh, steeping out of your ears. Your kind has no right to exist. Submit and die. Energy of soul. Security breach. Bates of Necrodis reduce the damage of this creature from any side of the back. Okay, so he's a uh, normal destroyer. That means some of us have to go back and move around. 
Oh yeah, that's not. Oh, but they are blighted. What does that mean? Immunity of that the picture is immunity of the power. Okay. Entropic tag blind. This creature may suffer negative effect at the start of each turn due to the tag blind. The chances for the outcomes are below. Immobilize, stagger, damage, stun. Okay, but this guy didn't help. Doom tag blind. Okay, so we have uh, some advantage. And these Necro Warriors are easy kills. Okay, let's... We are going... The Iliath is more agile, so I think she will go to the other side. Hmm. Ja and Jira will also go and also Argenta. She can clear a path to the Necrons. Abelard and Pascal will remain here. Not good. Can we shoot at him? This tedium is beneath me. I am not your Xenos pet, Morky. Since we have opening on him, how far we can post the teammate? How far, but we can maybe kill him. Are you moving? No more. If it serves your cause. You know what I'm allowed? My place is at the fall. This will, will make a fine scar. You have offered me another chance. Follow my lead. Can I charge it? Yes. Victory is imminent. We should deal with this. Is it reanimated? Unfortunately not. At your back and call. It will be done. Indeed. It will be done.
I will do my duty. Give a target. Oh, that's nice. That's not the nice. The dynasty will rise again. Chances are good. Anything that can increase. Oh, better power. Let's do that. Consider this a taste of what's to come. And we can. I don't think I'm choosing a lot. Use the hero. But he might be. Better for sure. So let's take out one of these. Request approved. Let's use the hand. And let's put a bounty on The undesired knows all. Oh, I use the normal shot because I'm a war. Okay, you're still good. Tell me, and it is done. I'll do it. Run and gun, girl. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Doubt is for the weak. anyone but we can dash I'll do it we have better chance on that 
Wow! This border is nuts. I love it. No, let's move there. This battlefield there is good for my lungs. Really? Don't get too cocky. I'd like to, but I can't. You've got a problem, I've got a prize. Okay, let's go. Uh. A moving target lives longer. No. Uh, how about then? You are not very useful right now. Without deeds is worthless. Wow. I'll do it. Give me the second. Okay. I have him reanimate other than him. I keep that when we can shoot him in the back. Oh. Strike is a prayer. Beautiful. Oh, we can run and As gun. As the Emperor commands, I act. Only a single shot. Okay. Wow. as well so let's do that if i must let's do that i am not your xenos pet monkey this tedium is beneath me your weakness is hidden from my sight reassemblement commencing My heart sings with the thrill of battle.
maybe Abelard can. And hit him from the back. At your back and call. Yeah, it looks like. It will be done. Victory is imminent. It will be done. Target well struck. Just a minor setback. Oh. Indeed. Yeah, I, I think it's our Don't let your guard down. down. And he, he, he this is good as done. Uh, I'll down. make it happen. Uh, Who, if not this? me? Uh, I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. <laughs> the best defense is a good offense. Well, let's use the offense. But that means they also cannot target us. Okay, oh, we can do that. Oh, we have to see target target as well. Alright. Watch my back. I can do that with the right incentive. Don't get too cocky. I think that's his back. Yep, it looks like from the damage. Stay with us. What? There was zero percent. Doubt is for the weak. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. We're almost done. As the Emperor commands, I act. This path. I'll do it. A good grenade. Oh, now he's in re reanimation mode. I can do that with the right incentive. Don't get too cocky. This is her normal, uh, right? 
Faith without deeds is worthless. Not to escape the Emperor's judgment. Finally. Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. <laughs> Vanguard, you will have a hard time finding someone you can defeat you. I'll do it. And you can still shoot. Amazing. As the Emperor commands, I act. The Triarch is eternal. Maybe I ought not see him. So he should go here. I move swiftly to strike. Stand your intent. If it serves your core. I am not your Z. You will not un <sighs> if you are afraid I'll not. see to it personally. I'll make it happen. It's as good as done. I'll see to it personally. Make it happen. Who if not me? I thought twice before oh, crossing it hit, me. It, it hit. Can we lock down? Yes. Dinos is not Bulgatani notebook is adorned with the coat of arms of Rose Ambulance since the page is made from real paper carrying pleasant scent of perfume and covered in ruler straight lines of text. The meaning is not behind an intricate cipher, but you do not need to know the contents of it to identify the author. You know this perfect calligraphic handwriting all too well. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Okay guys, I think that's it. We will continue this final stage from here. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Bye!